This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the MIMIC 3 clinical text notes. Okay. So what is MIMIC 3? MIMIC 3 or Medical Information Mart for Intensive Care 3. It is a large freely available database. It comprises de-identified health related data associated with over 40,000 patients. And it is between a time period of 2001 to 2012 in a particular medical center okay which is the beth israel deaconess medical center this database has information such as demographics vital sign measurements made at the bedside which is one data point per hour uh, laboratory test results procedures medications caregiver notes imaging reports and mortality okay so this data set supports a diverse range of analytic studies spanning epidemiology, clinical decision rule improvement and electronic tool development. It is notable for three factors. It is freely available to researchers worldwide. Uh, it encompasses a diverse and a very large population of ICU patients. It contains high temporal resolution data including lab results, electronic documentation and bedside monitor trends and waveforms. Okay. So how do you get access to MIMIC3 data. Okay. So to get access to MIMIC3 data, uh, there is a particular procedure. Okay. So the procedure over here is that you should become a credential user on Physionet. Okay. Once you are a credentialed user on Physionet, for that you need to complete a training course in human subjects research. Okay. Once you do that, then you have to uh, sign a data use agreement for the data sets then you can actually uh, download the tutorials or uh, you know the data okay so the procedure is given over here uh, you can log into physionet uh, basically you can create a physionet account uh, then you have to do the course then you need to get an approval it might take several business days and sometimes it also requires a reference of some supervisor for research okay so once you do that you can get access to the mimic 3 data Okay. Now in the MIMIC3 data, what I am interested over here is actually there is a free text data okay, of reports. Now that particular uh, table is known as actually notes, note events. Okay. So this is the table. This has actually uh, free text reports. Okay. And there are close to uh, 2 million records over here. Okay. 2 million rows basically. 2 million clinical notes. Okay. Now, uh, you know, this is how the table looks like. It has free text. It has also has a description. It has certain category. Then there is subject ID. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at the particular category description, it shows the type of note recorded. For example, category could be discharge summary. That means that the clinical note is a discharge summary. And description of report indicates a full report while a description of addendum in, uh, indicates an addendum, additional text added to a previous report. Okay. So I got credentialized access to this particular MIMIC3 database and I downloaded this particular table which is available in the form of a CSV. And then I would want to show you how the data looks like. Okay. So the, uh, that's what I've done over here. I've imported this CSV file. Okay. If you look at the header, it looks something like this. There is a row ID, a subject ID. Subject ID refers to a patient ID, right? Then you have the category. So this is a discharge summary. Okay. Then there is a description. It's as I said, if it was a report, then it means that it is a complete report. If it is an addendum, it is a uh, additional text to a previous report. Okay. And then there is this admission. Uh, this is your free text where you have the uh, discharge summary note. Okay. So now let us look at what are the different categories available over here. So when I do a category dot unique over here, these are the different type of nodes. So you have discharge summary, you have echography uh, reports, you have ECG, you have uh, nursing reports, you have physician reports, you have rehab services, case management reports, respiratory reports, nutrition, general, uh, radiology, pharmacy, consult, social work, nursing other. So these are the different type of reports available over here or uh, free text clinic uh, clinical notes available okay now let us filter on radiology so once i filter on radiology uh, see if you look over here the category is radiology and there is a uh, description which says the procedure over here okay 
So here the, there are different kinds of procedures like CT, pelvis, chest, uh, you know, um, chest X-ray, right, ultrasound. Okay. So the total number of subjects in this radiology report is close to 37k, and the type of radiology report is close to 522k. Okay. So you have 500k of radiology reports over here in this particular uh, database of note events. Okay. In Mimic 3. Now, if you look at the procedures, the unique procedures over here, right, you can do a unique on this particular column of description, you have close to 2438 procedures, okay, uh, radiology procedures basically, okay. Now, if you were to look at what these are, uh, you can see over here, you have angioplasty, angiography, you have uh, x-ray, you have ultrasound, you have CT, you have MR, okay, so you have these different kinds of uh, procedures, radiology procedures, basically imaging procedures. Okay. And if you look at, uh, you know, why so ma many number of procedures is because, uh, you know, these are the different kind of use for one X-ray over here. You know, this is a uh, cervical spine X-ray. So there are, these are the different types of use which are available. Similarly, in MR, you will have different procedures for the same anatomy, right? So that is the why you have such large number of procedures. Okay. Now, if you look at uh, some random text over here, okay, uh, basically for some uh, random row over here in the table. So, this is how the radiology report looks like. Okay. And this is very consistent across all the clinical nodes over here, all the radiology reports. So, there is, uh, uh, you know, the x-ray, uh, the order basically, reason for the order, what was the medical condition, little bit of medical history over here. And then you have the final report. Okay, so this is the way this text is organized over here. So this is a radiology report. This is an chest X-ray. Okay, so here if you look at the medical condition was that patient was admitted with hypoxia, and so previous X-ray showed something. So this is a repeat X-ray to see if the patient is progressing well. Uh, so here there is something about the X-ray. There is the impression basically the report on uh, what was observed in the X-ray. Okay. Now this is an another sample which I pulled out. So again here, this is also a chest X-ray uh, over here. And if you see, uh, you know, uh, for certain condition for evaluating uh, the stability or worsening of pneumothorax. Um, so here is the medical condition, which is like the prior history or the present medical condition. And here you have your final report. Okay. So this particular uh, database which is your note events in mimic 3 has lot of clinical free text okay and these are de-identified reports so if you look at the report over here you will see there is no phi information or uh, you know personal uh, protected health information or personal health information is not present over here the dates are shifted so this is a completely de-identified uh, database over here so in the report to see if you see hospital and the other the pha elements have been actually replaced with uh, the dates are shifted uh, certain pha elements are replaced with the entity type over here for example this is like hospital some hospitals name right so you can actually use this free text to uh, you know perform your clinical nlp operations Okay, so you can build a entity detection model on top of it, right? You can look at, uh, you know, how do I group similar reports over here? Uh, so a lot of NLP uh, techniques can be tried on this data for you to get an understanding of how does a clinical NLP pipeline look like? Okay, so my idea is that I will start making more videos on these uh, reports uh, to actually explain different parts of a clinical NLP pipeline. I will try out different things like name identity recognition on this. Probably try to find out how do you actually find out similar results. Okay. Probably how do you extract the results of an X-ray report, right? How do you actually extract certain key things over here? Like, uh, you know, uh, internal improvement in patchy opacity. So how do you extract these? How do you do information extraction on these radiology nodes? So these kind of videos I plan to do as and when I get time. So I'll start off with uh, maybe entity recognition or something. So I hope this video on Mimic 3 uh, clinical notes is useful for you. So if you are interested in pursuing something on clinical NLP, uh, you can try getting access to this particular uh, database and then you can actually uh, download uh, this particular note event CSV file and then you can start exploring that using uh, NLP techniques. 
I hope this video is useful for you. Uh, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I will put the link of uh, this particular Mimic 3 database and there is also this PDF which explains uh, what are the different tables uh, in Mimic 3 database. I will also put a link to this. Um, see you in another video. Happy learning.